Are you a Harry Potter fan? Well, then you've come to the right place because today I'm going to show you all of the Harry Potter themed things to do here in New York City. and it's won more Oliver Awards, the most prestigious award in Britain than any other production in history. Plus, if you want tickets, it's pretty hard to get, but one of the insider tricks is doing their Friday 40, which is they give away 40 tickets for $40 every Friday throughout the theater. Check that out if you want tickets or just join the very long wait. <laughs> but either way, see the show. Apparently it's amazing. Or you can see Puffs, the other magical theatrical experience here in New York. Puffs, or known as seven increasingly eventful years at a certain school of magic, tells the story of a young wizard named Wayne Hopkins and the Puffs, a group of well-meaning loyal rejects with a thing for badgers. The show is now at New World Stages. And I saw this one and it's hilarious. There's so many inside jokes, so if you know a lot about Harry Potter, then you'll really like this one. Another live entertainment experience that is Harry Potter here in New York is Harry Potter in Concert. This is when the Harry Potter movies play live to a live orchestra. It's been played at Radio City behind me and at locations in New Jersey. This summer it will be playing at the Saratoga Performing Arts Center, but check their website linked below to see what the next event is because this is something you don't want to miss. It's so amazing. Everyone I know that's gone has been like left crying out of happiness. <laughs> Just see it. <laughs> If you're a Harry Potter fanatic, you absolutely need to check out the Trivia Nights. Now, there are Trivia Nights located all over New York City. To find out more about them, visit TriviaAD.com. One of the locations that hosts them is here at Slattery's. So, test your knowledge. They have trivia about the movies, the books, and I've even seen a brunch themed trivia. A lot of options here in New York. Don't miss it. I could not believe my eyes when I came across this on the internet, but there's actually Major League Quidditch tournaments in New York, believe it or not. Now, you of course know that Quidditch is the most popular sport in the wizarding world, and witches and wizards and Hagrid all say that it's as popular as muggles' uh, passion for football. So, if you have that passion for football, why not check out a Quidditch tournament in New York City? There is a Major League Quidditch team in New York. Their season runs from June 1st to August 30th, and their team is called the New York Titans. So make sure to check that out if you want to see Major League Quidditch. There's New York Quidditch teams, people. I am freaking amazed. <laughs> has Hogwarts, but we have Radagast Hall, the New York version of the Enchanted Castle. Here you can sit in a traditional beer garden that really has Great Hall from Hogwarts type vibe. On the walls you'll see crests which are similar to the Hogwarts seal. And also, since this is a traditional beer garden, I consider it really more of a butter beer garden, if you know what I mean. When I came here with friends, what we do is we play trivia, Harry Potter trivia, and we just take in the Great Hall vibes from Hogwarts. The only downside is that there are no house elves included. Some place needs to make that, I swear. Come on, get on it, New York. Jeez. Here at Barcelona Bar, they actually have Harry Potter themed shots. So I'm gonna order one. Let's see. Focus, focus, I would never expect Robert Jordan. He's barely always the boy who lived and lived. Although he's no longer a boy, he's like 30 fucking years old. There's so many movies checking out like you rich bitch. I'm down in Leviosa, stupefy. Your job eats tastes like asshole, Harry. All the silence now, let it fucking work. Hell yeah, we've got butter here. Get drunk, yo. And so I just ordered the Harry Potter shot and it comes with this wand. No, but I'm loving the scarf. I'm loving this wand. It has like a little unhand, so let's take this drink. Harry hated potions.
potion class with Snape, but although a Poppic has a potion class like feel, this is one bar that you will not hate. Similar to a potions textbook, they organize the menu based on what effects the cocktails have. So you can choose from health and beauty, painkillers, stimulants, aphrodisiacs, euphoric enhancers, and even stress relievers. The outside looks kind of sketchy, but I promise you the inside is epic. <laughs> The Metropolitan Museum of Art has three magical experiences that will guide you through its corridors like Marauder's Map. During the Wizarding School scavenger hunt with Watson Adventures, you'll be guided through the museum visiting places, characters, and enchanted objects that echo the characters and locations in the book. On the Griffins, Goblets, and Gold tour by Fever Up, you'll be guided to parts of the castle that remind you of J.K. Rowling's books. From a staircase that's part of an actual castle to dark magic objects, this tour will give you everything you need to leave the muggle world behind. On Museum Hacks, completely unofficial and definitely unlicensed boy wizard tour of the Met, you'll be paired with a Hogwarts loving guide who will point out each of the house representatives throughout the museum and together you'll search for wands, robes, and pets. All to prepare for the most important moment in every wizard's life, the sorting. If you're interested in exploring Hogwarts a bit more, head over to Books of Wonder. This is the Hogwarts Library lookalike and it's also the home for the original book launch parties where they would have magicians, owls, and other magical entertainment. They also currently sell copies of the books that are signed by J.K. Rowling and Mary Grand Prix who designed the cover. In the past, they've even had displays of Mary Grand Prix's artwork. So it's a cool place if you're looking into the history of the Harry Potter book series. Dolores Umbridge's office was draped in lacy covers and cloths and there were ornamental plates on the walls. Here at Lady Mendel's, they conjure up a similar look. Plus, they serve a amazing traditional British brunch that is just as magical as it looks. I mean, seriously, like what better way to immerse yourself in Harry's world than to have the cuisine to match? At Hogwarts, the Room of Requirement is a magical room that can provide anything to those in need for it. Although New York City would be considered one massive Room of Requirement, there is one store that is amazing for it, and that is the Evolution Store. The Evolution Store is home to literally any curiosity and specimen you can possibly imagine. I just went in there and they even have a meteorite for sale. So literally you can buy everything from dinosaur fossils to a rat skeleton. It's certainly New York City's Room of Requirement. So Harry had Hogsmeade and we have Fiddlesticks Bar which gives Hogsmeade type vibes. Now if you don't remember what Hogsmeade is, it was the all wizarding village in Britain. So here at Fiddlesticks Bar you can get a Hogsmeade like dinner experience. Some of the best dishes they serve here to get that Harry Potter feel would be bangers and mash or shepherd's pie. The Ministry of Magic has a telephone booth entrance to get from ground level to atrium. You get in by dialing a code on the telephone that spells out magic. Here in New York we have a secret bar that has a telephone booth entrance as well. This is one of my favorite speakeasies here in New York and it's called Please Don't Tell. In order to get in you have to go into Crisp Dogs which is a hot dog bar and then there's a telephone booth on the inside uh, where you have to dial the hostess and if you get in, which it's pretty hard to get in, but in my Secrets of New York video I talk about how you can get in, so that will be linked below. The hostess will open the wall and there's a bar there that has incredible craft cocktails. Harry Potter has honeydews, but in New York we have Dylan's Candy Bar and it gives it a run for its money. Here you have three floors of sweets and on the top floor they even have a candy bar. Worth checking out if you're into delicious candy. <laughs> they offer 7,000 varieties of candy to choose from. You should watch the Fantastic Beast movie series while you're here. You can watch the ones that have already come out or head to theaters this November to check out the new one, which is The Crimes of Grindelwald. 
You can check out the Fantastic Beasts movie series filming locations here in New York. The series took place in the 1920s and used many historic buildings and destinations around the city. If you want to find them all, you can head over to my friend Jen's YouTube channel. She made a tour video highlighting everything. So you can just follow along and see all of the locations where they filmed here in New York. You can experience an evening of conjuring and culinary excellence at A Taste of Magic. This experience is as spellbounding as it sounds. It's a full course dinner with magicians that come to your table in between every course showing you sleight of hand and up close magic. It's something that we all know Harry would love and definitely a Harry Potter experience. Those are all of the Harry Potter experiences to do here in New York. If you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.